managed to fill an ikea bag yeah just been to a car boot was very good i'll um get you home now and show you what we got i picked up 16 items i think and yeah we spent 60 pound last time i went to this car boot i think i struggled to spend 20. it was like really busy last time loads of buyers loads of sellers however there's more sellers this time and less buyers not as many like people my age so um yeah a lot of people looking for jewelry that kind of stuff not the like clothing that i'm looking for so yeah i felt like today was going to be a good one and it was let's waste no time and let's get into the pieces that i picked up so to start the day off i picked up this quicksilver like shoulder bag um, yeah, it's just one of those like small ones. Can't really hold too much, but they're really popular at the minute. I thought this was really cool, and it's actually like new with its tag. Originally, it was only fifteen pound. I paid three pound for it, um, and I should be able to get the fifteen. I might keep it for myself though. I might swap it out for the one that I've got currently, because I think this one is so much cooler. The other accessory that I picked up was another bag. This one's just like one of those bum bags. Feeler again. Nothing like too crazy, but I think it worked out to be a pound. So um, yeah, should be looking at about 10 to 15 for that as well. I got this with the feeler bag. So this one is Juicy Couture. Uh, I was running out of change. So um, asked if I could do 11 for the two. This was 10 pound, uh, which is definitely paying up, but it is Juicy Couture. It's super popular. Um, I think it's quite a new one because the tag looks just like how it is at work. I work at Urban so a lot of people do come in and pick up the Juicy Couture and the price of it is usually like £70 a piece. So to pay £10 for it, it is a cardigan so it's a bit different and prices on Depop are kind of all over the place. Sometimes they're like 15 sometimes they're 30 I think because we are kind of like a trusted shop now, I should be looking for about the £30. The ones that are around like £15 mark are just people clearing out their wardrobe. A lot of people have like bad experiences, I guess, with people that aren't actual shops on Depop. So you can kind of charge a bit of a premium. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at prices on Depop. After that, I picked up this absolute corker of a sweatshirt. So it is a Timberland one, really nice, like spell out. This is like perfect Depop stock. And what was even crazier was it was only a pound. It's actually an XXL as well. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, these on Depop are going for like 40. Um, because it, well, the ones that I saw were size large. This being a 2XL, it's like that perfect like oversized sweatshirt. I'm going to be aiming for 50 and I can see it selling for that. I would be tempted to keep it for myself, but I'm not really like a Timberland fan. I don't know, but I can appreciate how cool this is. And for a pound, what a steal. This next top, I could definitely see Jazz picking it up. I went alone, so I was kind of guessing, but I've seen her picking up these kind of like all over print design stuff before and they have done well. Those are usually the mesh ones. This one isn't mesh, but it's still a really cool graphic and the actual brand it's from is DKNY. So it was only £1.50, that's worth the risk. And since I got home, Jazz has confirmed it should be able to get like 20 to 25 for it. So it was definitely worth the pickup. Then I picked up another little bundle. So it was like a mom selling her kid stuff. He bought all like designer stuff and yeah, and then just wears it once and then gets rid of it. So everything was in excellent condition. It was all like genuine as well. So yeah, very cool. First one that I spotted was this, well, actually I spotted this first, um, just like a Polo Ralph Lauren sweatshirt, but because everything was designer, I kind of expected it to be quite expensive. She was asking five pound for this, but because I bought this shirt, she did it for three pound, so is that just a new age polo ralph Lauren knit jumper usually get about 25 to 30 for those and then i picked up this paul smith shirt that's the tag and i don't know if we've had any paul smith i think we've got a pair of trousers that's it but yeah this is like a classic paul smith kind of piece so i have no doubts that it will sell 
not too sure how strong it will sell but I'm expecting around 30 to 40 I could be completely wrong but I'll throw up some solds it's just that like proper nice rainbow color like yeah classic Paul Smith and that was seven pound I think so yeah in total it came to ten and then we got this massive stack from a fellow Depop seller I didn't catch his name but he was a really nice guy I think what happened was he bought a big bundle from bulk vintage like wholesale um, and he wasn't too happy with it I'm don't really know how because there's some really cool pieces here so he's just kind of getting rid of it maybe it didn't suit his like depop but I don't know I'm gonna make a separate video on wholesale and that kind of experience so uh, keep an eye out for that but we'll run through these pieces now so we start off with this it is a Carhartt I think when I was researching it's called like a Sheffield jacket it's like a really nice like Sherpa lining inside proper workwear style the condition is a bit ropey, but they worked out at £2.50 an item. You can't like turn down Carhartt for £2.50. So some of the stitching can quite easily be repaired to be fair. There's a few buttons here that are missing, but with Carhartt, a lot of people will use it to rework. Maybe they make a bag out of the material. Um, or it would be quite easy to like do it up and then it will be good as new well not as new but a lot of people like them to be a bit worn in like that's what you're kind of going for when you're buying workwear clothes you kind of want it to look like you've been on a building site I paid £2.50 I would be shocked if we can't get at least like 20 quid for it this actual style is going for anywhere between 50 and 80 like in excellent condition so yeah I'll probably aim for about the 20 to 25 pound mark pretty safe with that now I didn't spot this as part of the big 20 pound bundle picked this up after it so I paid seven pound for a Timberland it is a waterproof jacket in excellent condition um, and yeah I thought this would be going for a bit more got people listening them for about 20 to 30 on Depop however I think this might do a bit better on eBay so um, yeah another piece that I need to do a bit more research on but £7 it's excellent winter stock so happy to pick it up and after getting this bundle for like £20 I was happy to pick it up and it was like the last £7 I had to spend it so I could go home so if I only found this piece it would have been the money back from the £20 bundle this is a DHL like fleece jacket I know it doesn't look like anything crazy well to be fair it does because the colour blocking is sick on it but it's all embroidered these are selling really well on Depop they're going for like 45 to 50 so definitely one to keep an eye out for it looks like a nice big size as well I don't think it's actually got the size or the label is a bit faded inside um, so yeah I'm going to be aiming for about the 50 pound mark my guess for why it's kind of popular at the minute is like the NASCAR pieces are doing really well I know DHL is nothing to do with it but like having those like big sponsors and stuff like and the colour blocking as well it's something that like people are looking at at the minute so there's a bit of demand for it then we've got a couple t-shirts now a lot of the ones that I picked up from the guy were single stitch the first one I love the colour of this like nice purple a little crocodile I think that is it has a little patch on the sleeve as well as you can see single stitch yeah size large these like I think would have been two pound each but maybe this was what he wasn't after um, maybe he doesn't think these kind of t-shirts sell well but the single stitch ones especially on Depop you can be looking at about 20 to 30 pound each t-shirt so I picked up couple I'll run through them quickly this one's got graphic on the front a little hit on the back the tag is jerseys made in USA and this one hurricane convention or conference but it's from 1994 people just love like old t-shirts because they fit really cool just really unique graphics like you're never gonna find stuff like this 
Maybe you just thought they were just like average t-shirts, but yeah, on Depop, it's the perfect place to be selling those. We've got a Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt. I really like the colour of this one and like having the big graphic on the back. Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts are so like oversaturated, so they don't really sell that well, but I feel like that's a good one. This was another one of my favourite ones from the single stitch t-shirt bundle. We've got this graphic on the front from like a Milkman Triathlon. But yeah, the graphics and the colour scheme is really sick. That one's on a Screen Stars tag. And then the final thing that I picked up was this Guinness t-shirt. you got the toucans there. I think it's kind of like a rugby style one. Um, and it's a nice big size. It's XL to 2XL. Picked up a few Guinness t-shirts in the past. The ones with the toucans do a lot better if you can find them. We had a t-shirt that had like a big toucan on um, and we got between 20 to 25 I think for it so I'm going to be aiming for about the same for this which you can't complain at. This one was only a pound as well so lots of profit. I'm just kind of spoilt for choice at the minute. The car boots are doing well um, and charity shops are absolutely stacked so yeah. Doing very well sourcing. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments what you've been picking up recently. Because um, it's always fun to find out what everyone else has been finding. If you are interested in any of the pieces, they will be over on our Depop 2 on Vintage. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Watch out for the separate video on wholesale. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.